And we want to return now to our coverage of America on Alert and the coronavirus. For weeks, health officials have stressed the importance of washing your hands to ward off the virus. And with particular instructions that there's got to be water and soap. Soap is so crucial. Uh, I wanted to do a little experiment to show you why soap is a necessary ingredient here. It might seem common sense, but depending on who you're talking to, maybe you're teaching your kids, it may not be as easy as you may think. So let's start out by setting up this experiment. This is all stuff that you probably have in your house. Uh, this is regular old milk, and we're going to fill this plate with uh, milk. You know, uh, get it to cover your, you know, the main area of your plate, and that'll about do it. You don't have to, you know, flood the place, and you don't have to use that much. The, the more fat in that milk, the better. And then, because we want to be able to see stuff move around, I got four different uh, food coloring uh, vials here. This one is a purple. The colors don't matter, whatever you got, but you should use some different ones. So we'll do kind of four quadrants here. We got purple, Here's four drops of green, and then next in line will be the blue. So as Mark, I try not the, to get this all over myself, Alex, what is what's it up? supposed to be representing? What so are the colors? The idea I'm is. I'm gonna be the eager child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea <laughs> is that stuff is gonna be on your hands. Okay. It's this, we're making it visible, but stuff is on your hands that you can and cannot see. Okay. And so washing your hands with different materials is super important. So there's our setup. Let's pretend that that plate is our hands. You got, uh, you got milk and food coloring. In this case, it's germs and mud and stuff you can see and stuff you can't. All right. Make sense? Yeah, right. absolutely. You need a Q-tip, and we're going to take this, and we're going to drip it in the water. And it's you're just washing your hands with water, not much happens, right? We'll put it in the center. Okay, you've diluted the milk a little bit, uh, but you really haven't yeah, no. washed anything. Nothing has left, right? Right. Let's dip it in the soap instead. Okay. So here's a little bit of the soap, uh, you know, your classic blue uh, generic soap. Dish or hand will work. And now let's put that into the mix. What? Oh. So That's awesome. you can tell that something dramatic has happened. Uh, the, the science of this is that the soap is actually bonding with the fat of the milk and it's creating them, like you got it, it, it grabs it and then it creates space and so because of that, there's space and the milk moves around and it moves our colors. And you know, until the, the here, I'll, I'll, I'll grab a new one here. Until the, uh, the, the fat is all used up, it will continue to, to dance around. I'm just amazed at the speed of the chemical reaction. It's right? is incredible. Almost instant. And so you need different things on your hands to get everything off. If it's right. just water, you don't actually wash off the non-water soluble stuff. You have to surround it in the soap bubble and then the water can wash that soap bubble and the germs away.